hello everyone greetings to all in this video we are going to see about the important preparation strategies to crack our SSE J exam I am really very happy to share such important strategies you have to follow to prepare your SSE junior engineer preliminary examination in our India the government job is not an easy task in a day to day the competitions are getting much heavier so if you want a government job means you have to do planned hard and smart work then only you will crack your exam and then you will get your desired job so now we will see the important strategies my first thing and also my suggestion is please don't follow or please don't depend on any objective book simply this is my first thing please don't depend on any objective books or any books because I analyzed more than 10 type of civil engineering objective books I am not really satisfied with it because that contains only the basic multiple choice question that is our basic civil engineering syllabus only they are covered they are, they are not much into deep so that will not help you to crack our SHCJ exam so please mind it don't depend on any objective books someone may think like that this book is enough to crack SSC JE exam or someone may also think I studied this book thoroughly so I can able to crack my JE exam please don't think like that you can also buy your objective books for your reference purpose only not on dependence so please please don't depend on any objective books or any books simply the second thing is the syllabus analysis this is very important please take your detailed junior engineer syllabus first and analyze your topics that means analyze your stronger and weaker topics you may be strong in some of the topics in your college days and also weak in in your college days so based on the syllabus please analyze your strong and weaker topics and please take a note write down your strong topics on left side and write down your weaker topics in right side and then what you're going to do please start a preparation with your weaker topics and also you do not simply leave your stronger topics please revise it your stronger topics then only you will be able to learn new things daily so please keep in mind start with your weaker topics and also do not leave your stronger topics simply please re revise it simultaneously so this will help you to cover your syllabus with a quick time and you also able to save your time so this is called balancing study you're balancingly covering your syllabus so this is very important once you've done your syllabus analysis means you will cover 25 percentage of our preparations that is 25 percentage of preparation is over for our JE exam please do this take your syllabus first and analyze detailedly and also after analysis please allocate the days according to your syllabus according to your weaker and stronger topics and and the next thing is taking notes this is very important when you're studying your topics please make a habit to take a notes by your handwritten so this will help you you to revise and recall your whole things in the neck of the moment of your examinations so please please make a habit to take notes by handwritten and also please take notes on your allocated days and also in topic wise and do not take your notes simply please learn it thoroughly and also please revise it two or three times so this will help you to thoroughly understand your topics while taking notes please consider some of the important books on each topics some of your college books some of your college lecture notes NPTEL videos NPTEL notes some of online notes see, see please kindly consider these things while you're taking your notes so this will help you to cover all the things in the particular topic so this will help not only for your JE exam but also for your state level exams and all all over India competitive examinations so please keep in mind while taking notes please consider your some of important college books some of important college lecturer notes NPTEL videos NPTEL notes you can also refer Wikipedia so that that also will help you 
to learn good knowledge about your topics so please take in mind while taking your notes make a habit by handwritten okay and the next thing is after you studied all the topics and taken all the notes then you will move to study the basic mcq questions that is whatever in the books it have the some of the basic mcq questions you also you also bought for some of the books for your study preparation so, so please take that books what you are going to do study your basic mcq questions once you done your topic study while studying the basic mcq please follow my suggestion please take in your civil engineering uh, subject topics and split it into two categories namely category 1 and category 2 so allocate the some of the topics in category 1 and allocate some of the topics in category 2 then what you are going to do please take a category in the first day that means take your calendar allocate your category 1 on odd days and allocate your category on even days so please follow my suggestion take civil engineering subject topics and split it into two categories and then take your category on your calendar on odd days and category 2 on even days and then what you are going to do study the 25 mcq questions on each topics on your category 1 that means odd day that means first day while you studying first day please study 25 mcq questions on each topics so this will this will uh, really help you you are not you are not got bored in your studies and after you finish all studying 25 mcq questions on each topic then what you are going to do the next day you have to revise the whatever you studied yesterday so please revise it and then what you are going to do take the category 2 and study 25 mcq questions on each topics and then third day what you are going to do please study the whatever you studied yesterday and revise it and after that you going to study new mcq questions so please follow my suggestion and this will really help you to cover all the topics of all the basic mcq questions in a quick time and also you will not get bored while you study preparations so this will really help you and also you will cover lot of mcq questions and the next thing is while you studied all the topics and you studied all the basic questions then you will move to solve your previous year question papers this is very important solve your previous year question papers take any one previous year question paper and write down the answers and try to solve it so this will really help you to you to able to analyze your capability and you to analyze your study preparation and where you are stand and analyze your marks so, so so this is really very important not only you to take our je uh, exam question paper but also take our some state level assistant engineer question papers and you can also take upsc engineering services question papers so this will help you to know new things as well as where you are stand and what is your capability and where you are going to concentrate on much thing so this is very important and the next thing is after you solve the previous question paper analyze it just think it what is your again your weaker topics and where i going to concentrate on much time and how i revise it and how i practice it so again practice so this will help you to remember the whole things of your topics and analyze your marks this is very important once you solve your question papers you analyze your marks then compare to your the previous cut off cut off years and you will able to clear about to crack your je exam so please follow my suggestions and please follow my strategies if you like if you like means 
if you have confidence with me means please follow my strategies in study well according to your planning so this is really very very important the next thing is group study this also very effective one please make some group studies by creating whatsapp groups by creating facebook groups among your fans and go into the groups ask someone someone to the questions and someone will answer it so this will really help you do not remember so you do not forget your mcq questions and answers and you do not uh, forget your uh, formulas and you do not forget your important values so this group study is really very useful one and this is really very effective one and next thing is learn new things daily so this is very important whatever you study whatever you will go whatever you will do and please allocate your some times on learning new things and next thing is hard work and smart work i already told hard work and smart work smart work in the sense according to your plan hard work in the sense practice so this this two will really help you to crack your je exam and the final one is never give up please motivate yourself at any time do not give up do not simply uh, th think your negative thoughts and do not fear and make some hard and smart work and to crack your je exam and also daily please think like you are positive things don't think your negative things please think your positive habits and also try to motivate yourself at any time so this will really you have a confident to crack our je exam so please do not simply give up whatever may be happen please do not simply give up thanks for watching this video if you are confident with my strategies means please follow my strategy and study well and all the best for your uh, upcoming examinations and all the best for your ssc junior engineer examinations my wishes to all and all will able to clear the je exam thank you